Hello! My name is Abe and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. Today I'm going to be playing as the pilot and I'm going to be doing a DD20 mode run because I feel like it has been a while since I really gave a nice solid attempt at just doing DD20. No blessed modifiers, no playing the robot. Just try to win on this challenge mode and why not give it a shot here? What's my number today? 11. 11, very middle of the road. It's not a 20. Might need a 20 to, to actually win because I'm not the best at DD20. I'm getting better, but um, but I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like I'm probably not. Ooh, this is good. I'm probably not going to win immediately. You know, just on this run right here. But we, we've got a couple of advantages. We've got a couple of disadvantages playing as the pilot. Uh, one big disadvantage is that I am going to have to make sure that I don't get hit by Shockwave. We're not playing the robot anymore, and robot is a character that I play with very frequently, and so I might... Uh, oof, more don't blink. Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm liking the don't blink. Don't get me wrong. Gives me an opportunity maybe to uh, get some extra cash out of these enemies. Uh, yeah, so I'm not playing the robot. We might get hit by a random shockwave attack because we're not immune to the uh, the electricity of the shockwave. That's, if we're playing the robot, we are immune to the electricity of the shockwave. Five shots will kill a ghost. Good to know. And the middle, the smallest of the blobs will die and drop money. So, you know, we have Don't Blink and Ghost in the Shell. I figure this is a perfect opportunity to maybe try to scam the game out of some extra cash. Let Don't Blink turn these guys jammed. And if we play our cards right, we'll get some extra cash. I think I looked at him. He didn't drop any cash. That guy dropped some cash. And money's important, you know? We're not going to have too many opportunities to fight a whole lot of jammed enemies on this run because I am not being cursed. We don't need to be cursed all the time. On every run. I am having fun doing cursed runs, but... I need a little bit of a break from those. Okay. Let's also try my best not to actually take damage from these guys. That's something that I do... Oh god, he's so fast. That's something that I frequently do is I look away. I don't look back fast enough. These little blobs, they kill me. So let's uh, ooh, ooh, okay, he's easy. Let's try our best. Make it work. We can make it work. Requiring a little bit of concentration, maybe a little bit too much for my puny little brain here to handle. But, picked up a lot of money. So was it worth it? Yes, theoretically. Hammer time! Hammer time's not worth it. Hammer time is terrible. And difficult. One day we'll get a patch for Gungeon that will change some things around. I do hope that you know, that 1.14 patch actually does come out on uh, PC eventually. The only reason why I'm not really doing it is because I've had problems with it in the past with uh, this new sound engine stuff that they added. So I would uh, like for it to be officially released. It is, I think, released on Xbox. But not on the not on PC, I believe. Yes, yeah, so now we're just fighting a gun nut. I, I've heard that how those guys work is that if they hit you, then you don't get the money drops from them, but if you can kill them before they hit you, then you get the cash drops from them. I'm not entirely sure how that is working, or how that's supposed to work, or if that's true, but that's what I've heard. So I, I, I kind of don't want to shoot that... Well, there goes the uh, water barrel. kind of didn't want to shoot that guy, because he's next to a wall, and this is Blobulon Rancher with darkness. That's going to be a little bit awkward for me, because if I hit a wall, I'm going to spawn a blob, obviously. So I'd rather just kind of get these guys out in the middle, where my shots won't hit walls, and where I can hit these guys very easily, and as a result, hopefully not spawn blobs. Now, it is taking time to make that work. There should just be two Uzi guys. It'll take a little bit of time to, you know, set that up, but anything that makes my life easier, you know? Oh, I did create one blob. He died. 
watch out for the ghosts. Ghosts are so hard to see on Curse of Darkness. I hate them. Okay. High stress. High stress has ended more runs than I would care to admit. But it, it, at least it's not an instant kill. So I've been playing a lot of uh, Dead Cells recently and I even noticed that there was a thread in the... Don't blink is nice. There was a thread in like the Gungeon subreddit on Reddit and it said that it would be interesting to have a cursed chest mechanic and I thought that was really interesting. That's a, a very interesting idea. Uh, but then the more I thought about it, the more I realized I, I don't really like that idea if it if it gives you an ability to get hit and die instantly. Like, high stress is kind of like that, but at least with high stress, you have to get hit twice, you know? It is not a one-hit kill. It's a two-hit kill. And you get a little bit of a, of a grace period in between uh, getting hit. I like that mechanic in... Uh, in... Uh, enter the gungeon right now, just because the alternative is instant death, and I don't like the instant death idea. That being said, it could be an interesting uh, thing to add to the game if it was not super common. I would do I would do a cursed chest, and the, the <laughs> I think the way I phrased it in the comment was make it hexed, because hex and curse are basically the same thing. But if you make it a hexed chest, and that's the official name of it, you can make the chests literally hexagonal, and it. You know, because Gungeon loves its puns, so I think having a hexed chest makes a lot of sense there. Uh, but yeah, you know, maybe it could be something that's super optional, maybe there's a way around it, but... I'm not a big fan of the one-hit kill stuff, especially in Gungeon, you know, a run's gonna last for freaking how long? An hour and a half if it's a good run, depending on uh, how slow you are at playing the game. Water barrels intact, yes. See, now, I, I don't know about the one-hit kill stuff, but I, I do kind of like it at the same time. But it's gotta be called uh, Hexed Chests. It can't be called the Cursed Chest, because a Cursed Chest is a jam chest. That's, uh, that's the way my brain per perceives it anyways. Dark was the night final attack. Final attack! At least it's not pot shots. Oh ho ho! Because pot shots can go screw itself. Pot shots is the worst thing in the world. Give me some. Uh, give me some items. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sling. That's. We're we're buying it right now. In fact, before I fight the boss, before I do anything else, the sling is one of the better guns in the game, and it's brown chest level, so it's super freaking cheap at that shop. This is fantastic. We should now have no problems fighting the bosses, at least for the for the first couple of floors. It's still going to be, you know, difficult. There's still going to be D20 modifiers and everything. You know, we might get gun cue, and then we'll only be able to use the, uh, the sling occasionally. But still, it is good to have. Now, the real question is, do we want to open the green chest? What I will do is open the brown chest. Amulet of the Pit Lord is okay. I, I like picking up the brown chest right now because we've already picked up a gun, the sling. So we're not going to get that forced gun drop from the boss, but the sling is worth it. If I picked up a sling from a boss fight, I would be happy. Gun Q goes to the shell. So I don't want to use the slingshot, so I'm just going to, you know, tap reload as soon as I uh, pick it up, or uh, as soon as it forces its way into my inventory right now. And there we go. Easy as pie. And there's the boss fight, finally. I would like to open the green chest, so I'm not going to open it right now. We'll save that for later. We could, um... Uh... Yeah, let's try to... Secret room's not going to be next to this, because the boss fight's right here. Okay, fight the boss. Ghost of the Shell, Gull's Revenge. Ghost of the Shell's actually kind of annoying here. Because these guys spawn uh, Bulletkin, and the Bulletkins that they spawn will be able to turn into ghosts. Don't really like having to uh, use a blank there, but we've got extra blanks to spare. I really don't like spawning too many ghosts here, that's why I'm kind of focusing down one of those guys. 
Now that there's only one boss left. Thank God it's not gun cue or something, you know? Easy, easy. Thank you, Sling, for making that possible. Allowed me to keep my distance and have good accuracy at enemies. Excellent. So we didn't pick up a key. I was hoping that w I would get a key so that I could, uh, in fact, uh, open the chest. I can use a lockpick on it, you know, I can still open the chest. I was just hoping that, you know, it would be super easy for me to do uh, because it would be free, instant. Uh, I could look for a secret room. Could be one, is the entrance room, one. Could be one like to the left of these rooms up here. So I I'm gonna look for a split second. Because if I can find a key, I'd rather use the key to open the green chest, because it is going to contain a uh, a gun, and a green level gun could be pretty good. Check this room really quick. Uh, this room had a gun nut, so I think we would have seen it if it would be in here. Yeah, I don't know where the secret room is, so I'm just going to pop a blank. I already popped one in the shop. Well, crap, I don't know. Pop it here. Okay, let's open the green chest. I'll use the lock pick. We'll see what happens. It opened, and we got the Rubidine. You know what? Rubidine's not very good. <laughs> but I'll, I'll take it, and I'll use it. We'll use the uh, Mac 10 first, though. And honestly, I kind of do feel like buying the Winchester rifle, but I'm not going to. We got the Mac 10, we got the Rubidine, we got the Sling. I don't think I need more guns at this point. We're gonna pick up more guns as we, you know, go through the game. Maybe if I save my cash, I can buy uh, more keys and better things on the next floor that would be useful. But the Winchester rifle is a very good gun. So I'm gonna buy it. I thought about it for a second and I realized it is a good gun and it's also got ammo. It comes with full ammo, so whatever. We'll, we'll pick it up. This is like the most guns I've ever had leaving the first floor, I will say that much. I'll use the Mac-10, I'll use the starter pistol, we'll fight the boss with the sling, and then we'll be done with this floor. Hopefully pretty easy and straightforward. So Gull's Revenge is kind of annoying here, but hopefully we can make do. Good, we're done. <clears throat> Could have switched over to the Win Winchester for that fight. It would have probably been a little bit easier. Took off the uh, starter pistol for this. These guys are just going to run around the center barrier. Easy as pie. And one meat cube. I can handle one meat cube. If only you got poison. Oh my god, that was uh, a little surprising. <laughs> Ignore that. I'm a grown man. Unfriendly fire, Blobulon Rancher. Now the Mac 10 shots will probably spawn some blobs. Yeah, I, I already see some blobs. Holy cow, there's a lot of blobs. Just gonna use the starter pistol for this. I, I took I took a hit, but there is HP on the floor, and theoretically, you know, I've heard it I've heard of different things, but theoretically, taking damage doesn't do anything in the game except for hurt you, you know? There is no, like, penalty to item discovery or anything as far as I know. I think that has been debunked, even though there were rumors that that was the case in the past when the game, like, first came out. Mac 10, we gotta stop using it for Blobulon Rancher. I thought maybe I could make it work, but it is, uh, it's too finicky. It's too finicky, the shots are too wide, and uh, it has way too much range, actually, and that's a, a negative. negative here because uh, the range is making it so that it spawns a lot of blobs. Oh, that's uh, very bad. Oh, it's high stress too, so I might just die right here. Hopefully I don't. Completely forgot that it was high stress, or actually just did not internalize that it was high stress. You know what? We're just going to stand here for a second, okay? I'm going to use the Mac 10 because I'm super scared about dying. I, I took some more damage, but we're alive. We're alive. I'm gonna go pick up this HP. Yeah, this is a. Uh, 
I, I, I knew that Shockwave was going to be a pain in the butt for me, and it's because with the robot, you you can walk into the Shockwave and not get hurt by it. If you're immune to electricity, I think you can do that as well, but it's, it's going to take a little while to get used to, and it's also just a very annoying, you know, modifier, the Shockwave modifier. So we we can we can we can make this work. Just gotta relax a little bit, play better. Don't blink, Rat's Revenge. You know, don't blink. There's no reason to be using uh, ammo to guns for this. Now accuracy would be a reason to not use an ammo gun for this, but there we go. I kind of wish I was not looking at him when uh, I killed him, but that's okay. Gotta, I gotta, gotta kill some guys here. Gotta kill some guys. And it's, uh, it's don't blink. So that tells me we, uh, try to cheese it out a little bit. Four shots. I can handle four shots. So three shots and then, boom, look away. No, I killed him first. This guy's a bit more of a pain in the ass because he has so much HP. But at least he actually can't shoot me, you know? When he shoots, his shots will go around me. Because that's just how he works. Let's go. Some more cash. Pot shots don't blink. I mean, I guess we could do this again. Ooh. But I am a little bit worried about it. Wait for the pot shot. Okay, you know what? You gotta, you gotta freaking get stand back, dude. Also, you're not gonna explode into cash. You're not gonna explode in the cash. You, however, will explode in the cash. You know why not take advantage when you have it? The opportunity to. Gonna be a little bit funky on the eyes, I think, if you're actually watching intently. Because of the kind of back and forth nature of this. You poisoned him! Rude dude. Got him! And you know, that's a five piece. Oh, don't walk into the pots. Oh my god, I forgot immediately. You know what? Die. Die. Freaking just like immediately, as soon as they spawned, walked into the pots because I was not paying attention. It's okay. It's okay. A little bit of damage this early should not be an indicator of failure necessarily. And look, picked up some HP. That HP is not going to go to the waste today. Pot shots, final attack. That scares the shit out of me. This is definitely. Oh god, I didn't see that pot. This is definitely Mac 10 territory right here. Go away, ghost. Okay, good, good, good. Freaking pot shots. Final attack. That's a really bad combination, because the combination of pot shots, final attack, you know, the shots come in. I thought I could push the barrel in time, but I hit the wrong button on my keyboard. Yeah, the combination of pot shots plus final attack is you kill an enemy, he explodes into bullets, you have to dodge the bullets, and then the bullets that he shoots hit pots, and then you have to dodge the pots. The pot bullets. Frustrating as all hell. I don't know how things are lighting on fire. Also, I walked into that bullet. Okay, I gotta freaking like play play better, okay? There's no excuse for this super bad play here. No excuse whatsoever. Range. There's no excuse to be taking this much damage. Let's freaking relax. Play smart. Get back up to full health. Get down to the next floor. Have a good time. Rat's Revenge. Ghost of the Shell. 
Ghost of the Shell plus Final Attack is the worst. Luckily, we don't have that modifier. But there's a ghost. So watch out. Should probably try to kill the ghost first so that we don't spawn multiple ghosts. That's something that I really gotta focus on doing. We should be fine here. As long as I don't walk into the trap. Okay! Yes! Please! We are going to open that chest. Dude. Nice. We're gonna open that chest even before we fight the boss. You know, screw. You know, trying to manipulate the boss drops. Maybe what I should do though is find the other chest first. Uh, we have a sling. We can fight the boss. Uh, I don't know. Dude, I don't know. I don't know. At least the ammo has been lasting a while. You know, the Mac 10, we get a plus 10% ammo bonus because we are the pilot and we have that pilot special item. But I do enjoy that the Mac 10 has lasted me a while. You can still occasionally pop it out, even on these enemies, which are pretty simple to kill. These guys take, like, what, six shots? Yeah, six shot, Six shots each to kill. This is no modifiers to worry about. What are the modifiers here? Adrenaline rush, unfriendly fire, so I shouldn't have dodge rolled there, but it doesn't matter, because uh, we're almost done with the room. Ah, screw it, I'll open the chest now. It is the Crescent Crossbow, which is all right. Not the best gun in the world. I don't really know how it will synergize with, you know, things like Unfriendly Fire, Blobby One Rancher, because the shot itself splits into multiple other shots, but it should be fine for the time being. At least if Blobs spawn here, it's fine. Uh, maybe not entirely fine. Let's try to do this a little bit more uh, carefully, shall we? Did he spawn, like, when I shot a trash bag or something? Like, what happened there? Kill you. Kill you. Ah, uh, there is a Mushroom Man, so we are going to have to kill the Mushroom Man. Yeah, okay, so blobs are... The Blobulons are spawning when I hit a, a pot? I, is that intentional? I don't remember that used to happening. I, I remember that it used to happen when you shot at a cursed pot. But I don't remember it actually happening when you shot at a pot itself. But yeah, that's, uh... I feel like that's one of those things in the game that's a little bit inconsistent. Because I do remember at some point in the past there actually being a uh, patch note that said, but Blobulons only spawn when they hit a wall. Or when your, your, your shots hit a wall, and that's not hitting a wall, that's hitting a pot. That's different. Blobulon Rancher is here. Got to be careful. Kind of one reason why I do like maybe using the uh, starter pistol here because it is a little bit he easier to hit your shots individually. That was a pot shot and I walked over a trash bag. That was dumb. I could have gotten punished for that. More ammo. So the ammo for this is going to go into the sling. And we will move on. This is a this is very good so far. This is a very good run. I like what we got. Another Blobulon Rancher. You know what? Screw Blobulon Rancher. I'm gonna use a freaking Winchester rifle. Cause if I land I tried to flip the table fast enough. If I land my shots, then we're not gonna be spawning any dudes. However, I did take some damage like an idiot. So let's go. Sling. I am kind of using the sling to knock out the pots because the shots do bounce, so they can still hit the blobby lord. But also, they'll be able to hit multiple pots. So, you know what I could do is like try to bounce it off the wall and then hit the boss. I got that one. Yeah. 
really like doing the uh, sort of diagonal wall dodge right there. You kind of push up against the wall and you dodge into the, into the wall at a bit of an angle. Looks nice, because you get a little bit of movement, but you're not like crazy movement. This was a bad place to dodge to. Surprisingly, I have not taken a hit from the from the boss, but I am playing like an idiot. I will fully admit that. It took 26 shots. Picked up the membrane, which is actually phenomenal. Fantastic weapon. We get some armor. I will pick up ammo for the sling to make sure that we have enough for it. And honestly, you know, we might want to go fight the boss. We found the secret room already. We might want to fight the the boss of the Abbey, the old king, because we have such good weaponry. We have a sling, which by itself is enough to kill him, but then we also have uh, the membrane, Winchester, which I do like. I'll try this for a second. This damage is pretty good, and enemies are exploding. I don't necessarily love. They might explode into me or push themselves into me. At least the littlest ones don't explode. Oh, whatever. Sure. Seven shots for the Crescent Crossbow. Picking up a lot of, uh, a lot of ammo drops. Which is good, but... You know, save, uh, save the ammo for later. Uh, so the, I just noticed the door is locked and there's no keys left, so we can't actually go fight the old king. I'm an idiot. I should have used my lockpick on the, on the door. Well, that's a bit of a shame. <laughs> uh, I don't know what else to do. I could try to gun munch. You know, gun munch crescent crossbow plus the rubidine. Yeah, sure, let's do it. I'm not a big fan of the crescent crossbow or the rubidine. Maybe we'll get something else out of it. You know, give me the give me the guitar. Or the Yari launcher. Hell yes. Okay. That's why sometimes you gotta take the risk and you gotta you gotta try to gun munch. Holy hell, that is good. So we've already found the secret room. Pop the blank. Don't need armor. Don't need ammo. I really wish that I could actually get the crest though. I kinda wish that, that was not locked. I, I kind of wish that that was not locked because it's a core component to a run that's going down and fighting the old king, you know? The same thing with the the oubliette doorway. You do need two keys for that. You do need some sort of a water gun or the coolant or you need the water barrel so that you can push it into the fireplace. But if that's locked and you don't have any keys or you've used your lockpick, you're screwed. <sighs> I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just a little bit flustered because of uh, the two freaking dead eyes over here. I should just focus them down as quickly as I can. But I was also trying to make sure I stayed in the range of the, uh, the control point. But ultimately, I just I took that damage because I was an idiot. Let's, uh, let's avoid taking any more damage. This run is really good. This run is really good. There's no reason to throw it by taking random damage. Gun Q, dark was the night. Would love to kill the sun. And that guy very quickly afterwards. Okay, so I've got a lot of ammo and a lot of different guns. The only thing that's sort of missing ammo is the Winchester, so then we'll switch back to the Mac 10 because it is 30 bullets short, and as long as we don't have a uh, Blobulon Rancher, I actually do prefer, I think, the fast-firing Mac 10 over the Winchester for just, like, keeping myself safe. Not even room clearing in general, but just keeping myself safe. There we go, more ammo. For ceramics, thermal clips. Try to reload every once in a while and you'll be fine. Although I, I probably should be switching over to, you know, my starting pistol when there's only like one or two enemies left and I'm not gonna take damage. 
But I just need to focus more. I need to focus more on the modifiers, on the enemies, on what's happening. Hammer time, blobby line rancher, unfriendly fire. This sucks. Sucks. Hardcore! So you know what? Oh, I ran into the bullet. Get out of here, hammer time BS. God damn it, I hate hammer time. Pick up the key anyways. I did use some Yari launcher shots. It's like, screw this room. Immediately fire in all of your Yari. There is an ammo that we can buy on the store, so we can use Yari completely on this boss fight. You are the one that I have to kill. Ah, lovely. We did kill the gun fairy. I heard him spawn from a pot, and that was a... Uh... That was scary. Because those guys can be very annoying. They shoot very constantly. There's no real gaps in their shooting. Lobulon Rancher, Long Live the King, Pop Shot. So we switch to this. Lobulon Rancher, I'm just going to stick with the uh, the Winchester, I think. Remember, Pot Shots don't touch the pots. You know what? Get out of here. Alright. So back to the Mac 10. Wah, wah, wah. 3 HP. Need to get my HP back. Uh, do we fight the boss now? Yes. Why? Because we have the Yari Launcher. And the Yari Launcher needs to expend its ammo so that we can get more ammo out of it. Supposed to fire hammer time. I don't like this at all. I'm gonna be popping a lot of blanks. I got hit because he ran into me, and then I get hit again. Probably shouldn't have popped my blanks, you know, as quickly as I did, but I was kind of hoping I could just kill the uh, Amoconda super quickly. That's unfortunately not how it worked out. Don't, don't burn. Don't burn to death, please. Get the Rattler. Yeah, that was a... That was a dumb fight. <laughs> That was a dumb fight on my part. No no way I should have taken that much damage. Okay, yes, absolutely. Curse me, blood sacrifice me, let me do more damage, please. Free chest, sure. Key, crossbow, something else that we can maybe uh, sell or gun munch. Damn, I should have... Like, the, I've got the freaking Yari. Come on, it's freaking hammer time is the one that scared me. Hammer time is the reason why I wanted to use those blanks. It's like... There's gonna be a lot of shots, a lot of random shots. I think I can kill the boss fast enough, so just pop the blank, pop the blanks. But I did not kill the boss fast enough, so you know I definitely should have just not pop the blanks. I think. Oh my god! Perfect timing on the, that freaking bat. Yeah, there's ammo for the yard launcher, so we don't even need to spend ammo getting or spend money getting ammo back but we are a bit weak right now unfriendly fire goes to the shell unfriendly fire is fine here globular rancher is the one that really is annoying so i can dodge a random bullet from the mac 10 being shot back at me yeah i'm uh I am not happy with myself for that boss fight. That's okay. 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 Let's open the chest. This is homing shots? Yeah, homing shots is fantastic. Ooh, and then we get the commando and remote bullets. Okay, we gotta think about this for a second. The commando is amazing. Great damage output. It's basically when the Yari launcher finishes, we switch to sling or commando, you know? Remote bullets is a damage upgrade, but I've had problems with it in the past, creating uh, anti-synergies that cause you to take damage even though you're not supposed to take damage. You know, I've had situations where uh, gun boots hurts me because of the remote bullets modifier. So I kind of don't want to take it, not on principle, but just because it's DD20 mode. You know, I don't want to have my shots 
come back to my cursor because it's unfriendly fire. Oh, that's such bad damage. You know, unfriendly fire, final attack, or something. You know, some weird modifier happen, and uh, all of a sudden, I'm hitting myself with bullets that should be hitting enemies. You know, I'd rather just not worry about it. Have a little bit of health back. I'm taking way too much damage on this run, though. Holy cow. Get the Crestfaller, another great gun. Like, I've played, you know, terribly, but the run has been fantastic. This run has been absolutely amazing so far. Yes, I've seen better. I'm talking about you, Rainbow Chest Run. Rainbow Chest DD20 Robot Run. But the run is still amazing. So I think I think I will pick up the Commando. It's it's too good to pass up. If I need a weapon, it's a fantastic weapon. I'm not going to take remote bullets. I could also take the airstrike, but I think I'd rather have a gun. Just because it is such a good gun. I don't know if I found the secret room on this floor, but I didn't see where it was. I think I shot all the rooms by chest. So we're going to go down to the next floor. With two of three HP containers full, a Mac 10 Winchester rifle, Yari, Sling, Commando, Membrane, Rattler, Crestfaller, Crossbow, a ton of guns. A veritable ton of guns. Unfriendly Fire Dark was a night thermal gull. I didn't even see the uh, the second turret there. I almost got hit by those bullets. You know, at least it's not hot shots. Hot shots here would be a little terrible. I'm not gonna be able to kill them fast enough. I did kill them fast enough. And we got an ammo drop. What needs ammo? Is it really just the Mac 10? I'll take it for the Mac 10. We'll switch back to the Winchester. I just wanna, you know, I wanna try out the Winchester and the Mac 10 and be like, which is better? You know, in this situation, for me, what is better? Oh my God, it's high stress too. So be careful. Really didn't think I would get hit there. I just got stuck on like a table or something. Trying to make sure I dodged everything and I just didn't worry about my own positioning. Oh, god damn it. Now I'm stuck. Oh, and now I can't shoot. So you know what? Blank. Just freaking shoot this mother effer. Can't, can't, can't shoot. Shoot. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> I've taken so much damage. You know what? Crestfaller. I like the Crestfaller. Rats Revenge, Gun Q, Hammer Time! Oh my god! Ah, oh, get out of here, Hammer Time! No one likes you. You die. Walk diagonal to that son of a gun. You are jammed. That is very annoying. Okay. You know what? Crestfaller, Rattler. Let's stop pussyfooting around. Let's use some of our better guns. I like the Crestfaller. I like the Rattler. Freaking freeze these guys to death. Stand so close to them though, because they do explode. And you know what? Pick up ammo for the cre crestfaller. Let's 
was gonna call it cold reality, but that is the wrong gun. And you know what? We're gonna fight the boss, and we're gonna win, and we're gonna go to Washington. Goals Revenge, Thermal Poison. Take our time, use the Yari launcher, murder this boss, get an HP upgrade, get HP, get armor. Fantastic. Now we did pick up the silencer. Uh, if I had remembered, I would have tried to force the gun drop, but uh, I was just excited to try to fight the boss. Get some of my HP back. Because we're actually very strong against bosses. We're probably stronger against bosses than we are against most other things here because of the fact that we've got just such great weapons. We've got the freaking Commando. we got the Sling. we got the Yari Launcher. Bosses don't got nothing on me. It's these rooms that are just killing me. I took a couple of hits during the Amoconda fight, but it is the Amoconda fight, right? If you're gonna if you're gonna fail the flawless second floor boss, it's gonna be the Amoconda. Unfriendly fire gun cue, zone control, final attack. Okay, one of our oh god, one of our first jammed enemies. Oh, lovely, and one of you guys. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna, oh, I did not get hit. I thought I was gonna get hit there. I should definitely be standing in the center for this, because then that turret wouldn't be able to shoot me quite nearly as well. The problem is, is that when the turret gets close to you, you can't dodge. Don't blink, Gull's Revenge, Thermal Clips, Shockwave. Yeah, custom timing for uh, Shockwave plus Gorgon's Gaze. No custom timing for Shockwave Hammer Time, Shockwave Gull's Revenge, Gull's Revenge Hammer Time. Wish that would change. Unfriendly Fire, don't blink pot shots. You know what? That means we don't move. We don't move. Adrenaline Rush, Dark Was the Night, Gun Q. It's just this guy remaining. Yeah. Easy as pie. Okay, what needs ammo? Yari. Yes. It is nice when we like switch weapons and we get the commando or something, because it's like, oh, okay, you're just gonna die now. Gun muncha. Will we gun munch? Honestly, probably. I'm not really the, ooh, my god, it's good. I'm not really the biggest fan of the, the silencer. So let's use the silencer and let's use crossbow. We'll use these these uh, weapons, get the ammo out of them, and then we'll uh, gun munch them later. So that we, uh, you know, basically get free, a free gun replacement. Adrenaline Rush, Dark Was the Night, Curse Ceramics. Now the Silencer can stun enemies. I think you gotta be close to them for that to work though. Yeah, it seemed to work. It might just be that I got a little bit lucky there, but. Ammo, we're gonna take the ammo for the Winchester. Crossbow, Silencer, and we will just use these guns. I will absolutely open this. Never mind, we're gonna use the shot grub. The shot grub is actual trash. Ah, uh, mmm. Okay, what, what are we gonna gun munch? What are, we, what are we gonna gun munch? We're not gonna gun munch membrane, Yari. We're not gonna gun munch rattler, crestfaller. 
Maybe we keep the silencer? Will gun munch, shot grub, crossbow now? I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll figure it out. Also, I gotta remember, I got this elder blank now. Let's use that whenever we need to. Her ceramics, ghost, high stress, gorgon. The shot grub can poison, but its damage is just really small. Really low, I should say. It's really small. Ah! Gun Knight armor. That's pretty good. But there's also a key for sale. So the question is, would I prefer to have a key or armor? One armor now, like one armor every floor. The armor is pretty good, I will admit. But the key might allow me to open more stuff up. I need to find the uh, secret room on this floor. Still have not found it yet. If I recall. So let's uh, let's abuse the shot grub. Take some shots at walls. Maybe try to find a uh, secret room. Maybe I should have just used the key on that blue chest. I mean, blue... Uh, I have no idea where the secret room is going to be, by the way. As far as I know, it could be anywhere. Maybe I just want to, like, pop a blank in the shop and call it a day. Alright, let's do it. Pop a blank, call it a day. Uh, gun knight armor or a key? We do have the lockpick. I'll take it. I'll take the armor. Right, and the last thing we want to do is gun munch. We're going to gun munch the shot grub. And probably the crossbow. The crossbow could probably get you more kills than the silencer, but the silencer fires faster. Does have a chance at stunning enemies. Let's just get rid of it. Get it out of here. Instead, we get the Eye of the Beholster, which is pretty good, actually. Not, not amazing, but it's all right. I'm gonna pick up the Crestfaller and... Oh, the Crestfaller membrane right now. I have Elder, Elder Blank. I could have been using that trying to find secret rooms as I fought through the level. Let's try to remember that and let's use it on this floor. If there's uh, hammer time, if there's Gull's Revenge, Shockwave, you know, just pop out a pop out a blank. Gun key, last bullet standing, goes to the shell. Just wanted to freeze this guy for a second. This is uh, getting a little awkward. I couldn't see where the ghost was. I thought he was a pillowcase. Don't want this. Don't want this. This is fine. This is an acceptable gun. You're dead. Crestfaller, Rattler? What did I want? I wanted Membrane. So I had like a really good shotgun on my alternate. And I didn't use the uh, Elder Blank. Didn't think like we needed it. Shockwave, though, I do kind of want to pop, like, as soon as it gets a little bit hectic. Oh, I was looking at him. He's so dumb of me. Is there going to be another Shockwave? Oh, no, right, custom uh, timing with Shockwave plus the uh, Gorgon's Gaze. I don't know why. They're not that hard to dodge. Shockwave is a bit annoying, but like Gorgon's Gaze, you just look away from it, even though I did get hit by it. Blobulin Rancher, Explosive Pyre, Gorgon's Gaze don't blink. So nothing that actually hurts us. So I'm actually thinking, let's switch off, switch off to the uh, Winchester Rifle. Use the ammo in this. I 
like to uh, get some free money, maybe. How many shots will it take? Two. It takes two shots to kill a Blobulon. I could have used the entire clip of Winchester Rifle to make, make that happen and make it easy. I could have. Zone control, Blobulon, high stress, dark was the night. At least we got the homing shots. It's gonna be a bit annoying having to uh, wait for the zones. It's high stress too. That sucks because I, I was trying to shoot the guy and then the, the shots were just homing away from him. You shot away from me. That was weird. And the, the blob. If, if the shot had landed on any target, it would have been fine. If I would have hit the target I was aiming for, it would have been fine. But instead, I just kind of... It looked like, to me, that I missed. And then... Uh, And then the blob hit me. Don't blink, high stress, dark was the night, shockwave. So, seems pretty easy. Thanks. Oh, thanks! At least it's not freaking Blobulon Rancher, but if my shots could act. Fucking Christ. It's like, go straight. Thank you. I'll wait here for a sec, because I can't actually shoot this guy. Yeah, I can get him to come to me. Wish I had more time for shock. I don't want to roll over in case I miss. But I'm gonna have to. I hate that room. I hate shockwave. I hate this game. <laughs> Gun Q, adrenaline rush, pot shots, last bullet spinning. So pot shots tells me that I'm probably gonna be activating my blank here very shortly. Like that. Is it adrenaline rush? Yeah. It's gonna get faster and faster. We made it work. There's a key. I don't want to pick it up. I want to go to the shop first. Obviously, we want to pick up another key from the shop so that we have a better chance at being able to open up all the chests that we want to open up on the rest of this run. Unfriendly fire goes to final attack. Damn, there goes a blank. I kind of wish that the uh, ghost would actually shoot slower when he gets uh, frozen. It didn't look like he was shooting any slower than he was a second ago. And then just the bad dodge caused me to roll into that guy. It's kind of a lot of these guys. <laughs> Jesus. Just like pop, 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 pop. <sighs> I can I can do that. Also, hey, Winchester, you're on the freaking map, mini map. Good job. I can do that. I can do that. Don't blink. Thank God. Don't blink with no other modif bad modifiers, it looks like. I can just kind of sit back and take shots. Okay. Don't know how that happened. Don't question it. Kind of running low on ammo. Uh, I mean, we should probably fight the boss. Our whole strategy so far has been fighting the boss as soon as you can so you can get the ammo. Extremely bad chest. So pop the blank a little bit early. And then you can uh, mess up this guy's uh, bullet patterns. It's coming right at me. So pop the other blank again. need to get a second. This is not good. This is better. 
Just needed like a better gun, but I didn't want to hold the button down to uh, weapon switch. I just wanted it to give me another gun, and it did eventually. All right. Oh, and we get the mega hand. Dope. I did not pick up the HP at the end of the last floor when I went down to this floor, so I'm glad I picked up uh, some HP from the boss fight. Now I'm at full health again. But yeah, we got the Mega Hand. Mega Hand is awesome. Uh, ooh. Crap. Are we... Get away. Get away. You know what? This is a little bit awkward. Let's just pop a shotgun out here needed something to deal with the waves of small enemies that are not really good with the Mega Hand. So I'm going to have Mega Hand Membrane on number one, number two. That should be good. We've still got the Elder Blank. Oh my god, I didn't even pay attention to the Gorgon's Gaze. Or not Gorgon's Gaze, to the uh, Gold's Revenge. It didn't even trigger, like brain cells in my brain that were necessary to trigger to be like, hey, you got a Gull's Revenge to worry about. No, wasn't paying attention at all. Didn't see the, uh, the targeting reticule appear underneath my feet. Oh. Oh my god, don't get hit by this guy. We got this, couple of these jerks to kill. Why were you in front of me? So that was a bad room. Took some damage, should not have taken damage there. But at least it was simple damage to take. It wasn't like a, a, a vast fuck up of you know strategic proportions. It was just, hey, shouldn't have done that. I can handle a little bit of you shouldn't have done that. Everyone gets one. Uh, we should really quickly check this for a mimic. If not, I'm gonna lockpick it. Pick up an M1. Why lockpick? Uh, you know, why not? I don't, oh, we haven't even been to the shop yet. I don't particularly think that a Random blue chest is the most valuable thing in the world. You know, we might get red and green chests in the future, and we only have one key. Now, there is a key on the floor that I forgot about, and we can buy a key from the shop, but that's still only three keys, and we have four chests coming up on this floor. So, took a risk. I stand by that decision because it paid out. Long live the king. Plus explosive pyre, so that's gonna be a little bit dangerous. Gun Q. I did not realize it was Gun Q. M1's pretty dope. I like it. Membrane. Thanks, 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 gun. Thanks, game. Membrane. Mega hand. Final attack. Blob. Curse ceramics. Unfriendly fire. Easy. Final attack is a little bit annoying, but as long as we kill them one at a time, and let's remember to actually kill them one at a time at this time, it ain't too bad. Okay. Uh, shot. This one I'm gonna use the key on, and unfortunately, unfortunately, it's bloodied scarf. So this wep this weapon, or this uh, weapon, this item is fixed in a upcoming patch of the game, in the 1.1.4 patch or whatever it is. But until that's released, I, I can't see myself using uh, Bloodied Scarf because it is actually bad. It's a bad item. It's in incredibly buggy to the point where I would be better off just ignoring it entirely. So I'm going to go to the shop, see if I can sell it. If I can, good. If I can't, then I'm just going to drop it and get rid of it. Because I think we're yeah we're pretty close to the shop. Now, unfortunately, there is a... As long as the king. Where's the king? You know what? That was a bad move. Um, unfortunately... 
Okay. It is locked, but we do have a key in the form of the lockpick. And it failed. Can we just, like, zoom past it? No, oh, can't do that. Hey, we can. There's, like, one pixel where you can actually do that. And Elder Blank in the shop. We already found the secret room. No reason to do that. Stout Bullets is a no-go. D-pad is interesting, but we need the key for the next floor. And we can pick up this key and then get the hell out of here. So yeah, that's that's a little funky that we can just teleport through the uh, the door, but I guess there is a pixel where you can do that. Uh, so why is this item bugged? Because, uh, you know, it's got two different methods of operation. One is that you tap the uh, dodge button to do a short-range blink. One is you hold the dodge button and you get this little shadow icon you can teleport to. Uh, but the problem is that if you um, if you try to blink quickly enough, you'll actually get into a situation where where you, uh, like right happened right there, uh, you get into a situation where you actually start teleporting to your mouse cursor instead of blinking side to side. Like, this is me trying to just go left and right and blinking the entire time. Right there. See, why am I teleporting to the mouse cursor? Oh, because the item is buggy in the way that it handle, handles controller input and stuff. And it's something that should theoretically be fixed in an upcoming patch of the game, but it's, 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 it makes it just not worth taking, I think. So I'm just going to get rid of it right now. It is an interesting item. I do like that you can teleport to the cursor, but I, I don't like A, that it's buggy, and I don't like B, that it removes the immediacy of the dodge roll, because right now I can dodge roll, and I can also blink with the scarf, but um, the thing is with the scarf, in order to blink, you have to press and release the dodge button, but when you're actually just dodging normally, you just have to press down the dodge button to activate your dodging animation, so you lose a little bit of immediacy of the dodge roll, so I, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. So instead, we're just going to pay this guy to uh, some money to do his challenge, which hopefully we should be able to do pretty easily. First thing first is you break the left block, then we're going to break the right block. Or we can just break this here. And now we should just be able to shoot directly up here. And then we should just be able to shoot directly up here. Yeah. That head, that flying head spends so much time up there that it should be super easy to get. We get it. We get a black chest. It is not a mimic. We get the composite gun. Really? That's a black level item? I'm shocked. <laughs> it's not the best in the world. It's very strong. You know, if you hold down the fire button. You get a really powerful shot that takes both of the ammo in the in the weapon, but it does a lot of damage. Very good for killing enemies. Maybe this is going to be like a good room clearer for the uh, future floors, but for now, you know, now it's all about Yari Launcher Commando Sling for the boss fights, really. As long as I don't die to something like, uh, as long as I don't die to something like high stress, we have a pretty good chance at actually... You know, killing the dragon, going down the lich, killing the lich. Hopefully, you know, Yari Launcher. It, the thing about the Yari Launcher is that it breaks damage caps. Normally, every boss in the game has a damage cap, and if you try to do more damage than the damage cap allows, you actually don't do that damage. Oh, that's so dumb. So, uh, you know, I'm hoping that we can really easily get the... I'm hoping that we can really easily get the, um... Where are you? There you are. Just wish that the, uh, the ghost didn't spawn those bullets as well, so this is going for here. Uh, I, I hope that we can get the Elder Blank charged up very quickly on the dragon fight just by using something like the Yari Launcher because it breaks the damage cap. And the only, the only metric to charging your weapons is total damage dealt. So theoretically... Theoretically, we can make that happen. Get a lot of Elder Blank charges, keep ourselves safe during the fight, don't get killed by my stress, and then we're good to go. We win, right? So I would love to be able to kill the guy who summoned the skeleton. I couldn't get to him fast enough, because there's a lot of stuff here. Okay, we, uh, we actually did destroy the skeleton. Oh, it's pot shots. Fucking Christ, pot shots. Are you kidding me? 
And you, I can't kill. Someone decided that was a good idea. You know what? Pop the blank. Try to limit the dam total damage that you take here at least. Hot Shots is probably the worst modifier in the game. Even beyond hammer time. YV. YV is a great place to expend ammo when we are done. It's not pot shots, just high stress final attack. Ah, plus ghosts. Lovely. Ah, but we're done. Come on. Yeah, pot shots is pretty bad. Because you never think of pots as your enemy, and then all of a sudden pots are your enemy. Should not have done that. Should not have done that. That was so dumb of me. Should just like popped a normal blank or something. Oh my god! Oh, I, it's adrenaline rush. As soon as I dodged once, it probably threw everything out of out of my timing. And then I didn't notice. And it's like, oh, I should have been able to dodge that. No, it's because you're an adrenaline rush, and you're an idiot, and you weren't paying attention. Zone control, holy crap, it's something that we can handle. Get these guys over to me. Oh, it's zone control. Shit. Uh, mind me. Wanna, yeah. Oh, we, we broke the forge hammers, somehow. I guess if you uh, if you stand in the hallway when the forge hammers are activating, you just despawn the forge hammers. That's kind of cool. There should be two of these guys. I mean, unintentional. Another bug that I hope that they fix at some point. High stress shockwave, unfriendly fire, girls revenge, curse ceramics. stress you know what yeah let's do that really wish that the laser would go away on the shockwave where are you is this gun cue can't remember if this was gun cue or not I don't think it was gun cue done with this done with this yeah, Mega Hand Ammo. It's so good. I've got to go with it. As much as it would be nice to be ro rocking another gun at this point, I can't. <laughs> I can't use another gun. This is this is too good. Final Attack, Shockwave, Gun Q, King, Lobulon Rancher. Shit. Somehow we made that work. Also really don't like that the ghosts are... That's gonna be a blob. Really don't like that the ghosts are immune when they are spawning in. It's kind of annoying. Reminds me a lot of, uh, of Isaac, the skeletons in Isaac that you can only hit from the back. They're kind of immune temporarily when they spawn in because the game needs to determine like what direction they're facing. Good enough, good enough, good enough. I don't need to be cursed anymore, go away. Unfriendly fire, blob, gull, rat, blink. This tells me, shoot, as fast as you can. Actually didn't kill you, now I did. Last cursed dark ghost adrenaline. Oh, goody. The most annoying enemy in the game, and he's the one that I can't kill. I can kill you now. Sneak the shot through between the table. 
got another key. So we can afford to open all the chests on this floor without needing to use any sort of... Any sort of uh, lock pick, which is good. Open the chest. It's the back gun. Well, this is interesting. So back gun can either be one of the best things in the game or one of the worst. For Yari Launcher, I imagine it'll be one of the best because the damage output from us is going to be absolutely fantastic. But for things like Unfriendly Fire and Blobulon Rancher, we're actually going to be hurting ourselves with back gun because we're going to fire a shot out of our back. So it, this is interesting. I, I want to fight the boss like as soon as possible because if I fight the boss, maybe we can get lucky Use L Yari Launcher, do a lot of damage, get the kill, use Commando, and then we can think about dropping it. This is good stuff, but uh, we can't really do anything about it right now. Chris Ramix, Gull, Rat, Thermal, Long Live the King. Chris Ramix, Gull. Didn't even kill you in one hit. Didn't even kill you in two hits! Oh, it's Long Live the King. So if you're going to be the king, you're dead. Once I figured out what was going on, it was okay. Just like, why can't I kill you? Oh, right. Long live the king. Here's a boss fight. So we're going to switch immediately to Commando. Yari. We've got a lot of Elder Blanks. This should be easy. Yeah. The speed at which we can pull out those Yari launcher shots is fantastic. This is exactly what I want the blank for. It's it's going really fast though. Like the shots are traveling fast. I don't know why. It feels like I have a like adrenaline rush happening. Did they buff this uh, fight since the last time I played Gungeon or something. My God, that was fast. Yari Launcher, finish the heart. That's like the fastest dragon fight, one of the fastest I've ever had. No, no, no. the fastest I've ever had is remote bullets plus makeshift cannon. That would have been the fastest. That was still pretty damn good. Don't let that fool you though. Backup gun is, is probably objectively bad. At least in DD20 mode run. Ooh, plus uh, YV would be amazing, but oh my god, I just can't. Don't blink thermal, unfriendly fire, explosive pyre. I just can't. Oh my god, see like yeah, yeah, like the bullet bounced off the wall because it, it didn't come out of my back. But you know, if it did come out of my back, it would just bounce off the wall and hit me. I just want to I want to use the rest of Yari shot with the backup gun, and then I'll figure out what I'm gonna do. Poison, Gorgon, Cursed, Gun, Adrenaline Rush. So I'm just going to do something like this. Did look away from it, even though it didn't look like I did. I gotta, like, go this way. You know what? Uh, right! Forgot! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Forgot about the frickin' adrenaline rush. That was scary as hell. Yari's out. I think I'm gonna drop it. It's, it's so bad when it's bad. And it's a shame. I, I wish that... I wish that certain items in DD20 mode weren't objectively bad, like gun boots. Yes, if they could fix it so that the shots from the gun boots never could hurt you or spawn blobs, I would I would appreciate it. But right now, there are situations, there are bugs, or I don't know, that make gun boots hurt you. So it's a bad item to have in DD20 mode. Similarly, backup gun. Shots come out of your back, spawn blobs. What are you going to do about that? Well, you can't not shoot out of your back because that's the whole point of backup gun. Um, scatter shots. It's pretty bad. There's just guns and items in DD20 mode that are bad. So I'm gonna drop backup gun as much as I hate it because it's an amazing item not in DD20 mode run. But like right right now, Blobulon Rancher. I would be spawning blobs out of my butt 
If I still had it. If I was holding on to that item. I can't I can't afford that. Took damage from the uh, poison. Also, it seems to be adrenaline rush. Taking damage from the poison sucks, but I gotta, I gotta start focusing now. Hot shots, shockwave. That tells me I'm just gonna pop a blank like immediately. God damn it! Got it. That's very annoying. Having to deal with the uh, long live the king. We're approaching another chest here. Just a second. Gun cue, pot shots, unfriendly fire. Last bullet standing, explosive pyre. Ah, oh, damn it. I, I don't know why I thought that I could just move out of the way of that bullet that was approaching me, but I failed. As you no doubt were able to tell by me getting hit. There's some armor. There's plenty of HP and ammo on the shop, which I think we're going to partake in because I definitely want... Uh, I definitely want... As much HP as I can handle going down to the next floor. YV is good, but I think picking up Yari ammo is more important. I'll buy the heart, and I can dump 30 casings, credits, cash, coins, dollars into YV here. And get a little bit of bonus from it. YV is worth it. And then we'll leave. Five and a half hearts, one armor. We'll have two armor going down to the next floor because of us having the uh, the gun knight uh, armor was it yeah gun knight armor only found one piece of the gun knight set I know that in the wiki for Gungeon it says if you have one piece of the gun knight set you're more likely to get other pieces of the set presumably that means that the game will randomly give you the pieces more often in chests or after boss fights or in shops but Still, uh, it's very hard to pick up Gun Knight pieces. I don't know how much of an improvement it is, but if there is an improvement, it needs to be much higher than it is right now. Because Cormorant is so hard to get. Don't blink, unfriendly fire, long live the king's zone control. So, this is going to be awkward. I gotta, first of all, let the zone happen. Then I need to find the king. So this is the king right here. Okay, the king has been killed. I can kill everything else, so... I hate having to do this, but this is kind of like what you get. Oh. Yeah, well, you know what? You guys brought this on yourself. If I have don't blink, I'm gonna abuse the fuck out of it, man. I could let these guys explode, or I could just kill them myself, you know? I'd rather just kill them myself so that I know that they're dead. Good. Okay, back to the membrane plus the mega hand. Membrane, remember, if I need it, I got it. Long live the king. Well, I mean, I can still push this guy off the pit, and he is going to be dead. You're the king! And there's a blob! Perfect! No! I spawned a blob! Power of the uh Oh he exploded because it's freaking uh explosive fire. Gotta remember that. Yeah. That'd be a good thing, huh? Jesus, I'm such an idiot. You know what? You die. Let me figure this out. Almost just ran into that bullet. Frickin' Winchester! I can't right. That's why I can't switch my guns. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm look. One hit. One hit! One hit's okay. Do better. Unfriendly fire, shockwave, explosive fire, zone, ghost of the shell, zone control. Okay, so this sucks, but at least I can switch to the blooper. 
and bloop these guys, like, into hell. You get blooped. You get blooped. You get blooped. Now, we switch to the Mega Hand, and we wait a second, because what we're gonna do is just pot shot these guys from a distance. We have, uh, homing shots. Really? Ghost of the Shell? I don't know. What do you say? Got Elder Blank? Let's make sure to use that, but I'm, I'm kinda... Not... I, I'm not focusing on it, but I really should be. We've got freaking Elder Blank. Use it! There's absolutely no reason to not be using it. Yeah, don't, don't do that. Doing good, doing good. Easy. We can just roll into the pots. When, when we can, we can just roll into the pots. Blob, a king, adrenaline, strat, rat. King's dead. That was super quick. That's gonna spawn the blob. Probably, I don't know we can kill the blob. It's not an explosive blob. Oh my god, that was so dumb of me, and then I just walked into the bolt the second time. Holy crap. I deserve death. I deserve everything that I get. Holy cow, that is dumb. I just freaking got stuck in a dodge roll, and then I tried to recover from it, and I got stuck in another dodge roll. Just freaking just like take your time, dude. Idiot. Get out of here. Is that a pot shot? Oh my god, that was a pot shot, wasn't it? Oh my god, and I got hit by a bullet. And I missed, missed my shots greatly. You die. Okay. Taking a lot of stupid damage. I didn't have the Elder Blank, otherwise I would have been using it. It wasn't charged for some of that fight. I do not know who the king is. It must be one of these books. You! You know what? Give me a sec. At least I freaking have Mega Hand. Dude, it makes it so much simpler to do this stuff. Because it is such a good weapon. Okay, what needs ammo? Probably the Mega Hand. Sling is full. Membrane is basically full. Yari is basically full. Actually, I think Yari is full. Yeah, Mega Hand. That's going to get us through the rest of this floor. Next ammo. Doesn't matter. We don't need another ammo drop. Give me... I don't want to bloop. Yeah, give me, uh, give me HP. What I do not need is ammo. That was stupid. Didn't kill me, but it was still stupid. But you know what? You can still use Mega Hand. I just wanted to use Blooper a little bit to knock enemies into pits. Last bullet standing. Oh my god, last bullet standing. Pot shots. You know what? Get out of here. Can't shoot. Good so far. Good so far. You know what? Just, just take it and go. Very happy with the relative dodging I did in that room. Blobulon Rancher, Unfriendly Fire, Thermal Ceramics. So don't miss. We're safe right here. 
Wait for enemies to kind of walk towards you slowly. Like, there's a dude right up here. Pop him once. Oh, dude right down here. I see him. Oh, shots gonna probably spawn him. A blob. I'm gonna kill the big guy in the center. How are we gonna do that? You know what? You are gonna get freaking composite gunned in the face. Nope, we spawned a blob. Okay. You know what? You're still gonna get composite gunned in the face. It's gonna take me a second to get to you, buddy. Weapon is so much less efficient than the Mega Hand. Let him let him do some shooting. The shots are hitting twice because they bounce off the wall and then home back in on him. Oh, I thought you were gonna like knock me into the pit. <laughs> Or stop me from dodge rolling over the pit or something. Jesus. This was the wrong way. I'm an idiot. That's uh, really what you should take from this is that I am an actual idiot. I freaking went all this way down the middle path because I wanted to go down the first room, see what direction it went, and then not go this way. And instead, I just went the entire path. At least we're alive, and we haven't taken too much damage from that. Please let the king be close. King was very close. That's right, they changed it so that you can actually use the, uh... They changed it at some point so that you can use uh, Elder Blank during a dodge roll. It used to be that you can do that because you can't um, use items during dodge rolls. Yeah, where did the... Where, did we kill Lord of the Jammed or something? He disappeared. Girls Revenge, Pot Shots, Shockwave, Dark Was the Night. This is actually, um... Blooper territory. I, I, I popped a, a regular blank there because I, I messed up, but should have popped elder blank. But this is this is absolutely regular blooper ter territory. So other than taking that one hit, that was actually not that bad. We're just gonna stand over here. Guys, kind of come to me a little bit. Okay, uh, we changed weapons. You gun Q. Easy, 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 easy. Okay, Elder Blank charged, ready to go. Adrenaline, dark, unfriendly. Don't blink, high stress. Don't blink is good. Gotta find these guys. Another um, bird, I think, or another uh, bullet. Can find him. Should not miss. Don't miss. Missing causes bad things to happen. Generally, generally related to unfriendly fire, blobby one rancher. Poison zone, gorgon bullet blink. Oh, this is wonderful. I just wait here. Should be super simple. These guys shouldn't even get like a single shot off. And if there's gonna be reinforcement stage, which is gun nut, who cares? No, nope, don't attack. The game is actually nice. It made him stop his attack animation in the middle of his uh, his attack, even though I hit him with the or when I hit him with the flashlight beam. <clears throat> okay. Super simple. Ultra simple, in fact. One of the easiest rooms there is. 
Ghost, High Stress, Dark, Rat, Gull. Uh, this is fine. Weapon loadout we have is okay. I can use, um... I can use, uh, Mega Hand for this. Thing is, it's just gonna be annoying, because there's gonna be ghosts that spawn. I don't know where they're gonna be, so I'm gonna have to, like, constantly look around me. Watch out for the traps and stuff. Son of a bitch. I almost had it, and it was high stress, too. Like, yeah, I definitely should have blanked at the end of there, but I thought I could just dodge around him, because he was almost dead. He was almost dead. Okay, I think I want to use Commando for this phase. Yari for the second phase. But maybe I want to do something like using uh, Posit Gun for this phase. Commando. I just want to save Yari Launcher for as long as I can. High stress, gun Q. Okay, well, gun Q means that we're not going to have a choice in what we use. Oh, roll! Oh my god. I couldn't figure out what the roll button was for a second there. That's so embarrassing. Also... It's a uh, thermal clips, which is super freaking annoying. We got this. We got this. Bad, bad way to take damage. I will blank this. I didn't change my uh, weapon there. That was super freaking annoying because of A, high stress, but B, gun cue. No. We're gonna Yari Commando this son of a gun. Get the Elder Blank charge. And we're gonna win. We're gonna win because we, we came this far, and I'm not gonna go down without a fight. Gun cue. Oh Poison Pursuit, Ghost of the Shell, Adrenaline Rush, Shockwave. Are you kidding me? I tried to blank there, but I guess it just didn't take in time. Just reload! Get a different gun! Oh, this sucks. Fucking gun cue. I've got, like, all the best guns in the entire game, and I can't freaking use them. Don't have it charged. Fucking blank! I hate the modifiers on bosses. When are they gonna add in unique modifiers on DD20 mode? Adrenaline, Dark, Gull's Revenge. This I can do! This I can do, pig. You're not going to get me this time. You are dead. Screw you, Lich. Oh my god. I'm just like, ugh. I worry way too much when gun cue happens, like, because gun cue happens, I'm, I'm stuck, like, using the starter pistol or a mega hand, and I'm clicking, trying to fire, and it's like, no, I gotta charge this. Can't focus on that right now. I gotta dodge. Ugh, I worry way too much about gun cue. High stress was happening at the same time, so I was focused even more on dodging. And in second phase, we had poison pursuit plus shockwave, which is not fun. There's no way that I was making that, like, circular dodge around his left-right bullet patterns, his overlapping bullets. Uh, I, I, I really, really, I say this every time, but I really hope that one day 
they will put in custom modifiers for bosses because it would smooth out DD20 mode so much, so much. Like we had Yari Launcher, a great pickup by the way from uh, sacrificing a couple of worse guns to the gun muncher. But like, if we didn't have Yari Launcher, we would have been much worse off during many of those phases of the fight. I don't know why Dragon felt a lot faster than normal. Maybe it's just that this is like my first, or this is like my first time doing DD20 Dragon in a while. So maybe I'm just misremembering. But um, yeah, I really hope that at some point they just add in custom, custom modifiers because they did it for the fourth floor, and the fourth floor actually is the easiest set of bosses to fight now in DD20. The fourth floor is easier than the third floor. It's easier than the second floor. Like on the, our second floor, we had Hammer Time and Wakanda. That was this run, right? I think that was this run. Yeah. And that was a pain in the ass because we had freaking Hammer Time to worry about. It caused me to lose focus. Hell, you know, if you get a bad first floor modifier, you could get, you know, Gull's Revenge Hammer Time on the first floor, I imagine. That would probably be the end of your run, unless you're really good. <laughs> but yeah, I just... Can't wait for the day when we got custom modifiers. I've thought of a bunch of good ones too. Like even small modifications, like let's say that on Trigger Twins for instance, right? Have the DD20 modifier and just let the Trigger Twins summon other Bulletkin, right? So you got Uzis, you got Ashen, you've got the, uh, the, the Cowboys that do the double shot that purposely misses you. You've got Veterans, so have them summon random Bulletkins, boom. There's your modifier, super simple. Um, for something like, I had a different one, um, Meduzi. Let Meduzi do the bullet freezing attack at any point during her attacks. Like let that not be something that she does, you know, in a, a specific attack animation for it. Let that be something that she'll do in the middle of all of her attacks. So you've got to worry about looking away or dodging that attack while you're still fighting her. That's, you know, that's all you have to do. And it's basically just like having a DD20 modifier of um, Gorgon's Gaze just active during the fight. And it's, it's you know, you can, you can make it worse. You know, you can make it a little bit more intense than that because just having that modifier is not that, you know, much of a difficulty improvement. You know, not like having Hammer Time Shockwave Gold's Revenge active at the same time. But it's, you know, uh, something that's consistent and unique to her in the vein of the existing fourth floor modifiers. It just, it, it, it irks me that they added in specific modifiers for the fourth floor, but then nowhere else. The dragon always had dragons, uh, dragons high stress. <laughs> but anyways, thank you very much for watching. I had a lot of fun on that run. Yari Launcher was a bit of a lucky dice roll that worked out sacrificing the, not Crescent Hammer, the Crescent Crossbow plus something else that I, all oh, right, that Rubidine prototype that we got from the first floor. That was a, that was a good move. So thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. And I hope to see you here for the next run of Gungeon.